Holy watch piece we've done. No, that's very good, so I've got a story to tell. Um, the only watch auction is every two years, and it started five years ago. It was created by Luc Betadino, who's a, a gentleman who's the director of the Monaco Yacht Show. And he, uh, when his son was three years old, was diagnosed with muscular dystrophy. Now, that means that it's autoimmune illness, which basically okay. self-destroys the, the muscles of the kid. And when he's 9 or 10, he's in an electric wheelchair. And because the heart is a muscle, he usually doesn't see his 15th or 16th birthday. So when you realize the violence of that, of parents discovering that of their child, or the violence of the child when he's living, to when he's growing up, what he's going through, and what's going to happen, suddenly a charity auction gets another face, especially as I got to know Luke, and just got to know his son. And only watch, it's like 30, 32 brands who each two years do a piece unique. And mostly, and I did it in Harry Winston, so I'm a bit ashamed of it, what we did, we changed the dial, give a watch for charity, and don't tweet about it. So now as I got to know Luke and Paul, I thought, it was, it was really an emotional impact. I thought, I would like to create something which makes people understand what muscular dystrophy is all about. What sort of emotion, if I showed a piece, people would go, whoa. And not only whoa because of craftsmanship, but because we're talking of a child passing away. But of course I have no idea how to do this. I know how to create watches, machines, I don't know how to do that. So, I bought an, uh, a piece from an artist two years ago, a Californian artist called Sage Vaughan, which is a pretty violent piece of art, which is a, an old baseball bat, a slugger, he puts great big rusted nails in it, and he paints very delicate butterflies on it. Sage Vaughan is a man who's gone through seven years of heroin addiction. In LA, he's lived stuff you know he wants to live. He nearly died many times. He's come out of it, and his art is sort of like the, the tension between the innocence of childhood, the child he was, and the violence of life, the violence he's left. I thought that made sense, so I, I hooked up with Sage, who is agent, went to LA, met him a year ago, and said, "What can we do? What can we do in a piece of horology which sends a message about a child passing away?" And I would like it to be three-dimensional, not something with a dial, painted, whatever. Or something we make horological machines, could we make made of stuff? And uh, I said, okay. And we're having lunch, and it's really adorable. And at the end of the lunch, I said, well, okay, but how much is this going to cost me? Because it's a charity event. I'm giving the watch. And said, oh, no, it's a good charge. And um, we worked on sketches and got the product ready. And I think it's, I think the message is there. Uh, I'll, I'll let the watch go around. This is the piece unique we're gonna to give to the auction, so please do not scratch it, pop it around or whatever. It really has to be in pristine condition. So I'll ask you just to be careful. Is it called a butterfly? What Sage's idea was, we took an HM2, opened up the top to have a sapphire glass with two sapphire domes, that was our idea, and in between the sapphire and the movement, which you can see, is a sculpture. The movement is the child's body. The barbed wire, you can see three-dimensional gold barbed wire, is imprisons completely the movement, and that's the illness which is keeps the, the child prisoner. There is a butterfly, because in Sage Vaughan's art, Butterfly is innocence, hope, or childhood. In this case, it's hope, and yeah. one of its wings is cleared. Because today, thanks to Luc Petavino and all the money he's managed to, to give to research, they can cure what cure, not cure. They can stop the illness in mice, in dogs, when they're starting clinical uh, tests on human beings. But his son is already nine years old. Little chance we're going to manage to save them, but the hope is there. But for the moment, the butterfly cannot fly. Yes. It's a pretty violent image, but uh, we wanted it that way. And uh, this is the piece we're going to put into the auction on the 24th of 
September uh, in Monaco. I've just gone around the world for three weeks on a, on a personal trek to collectors, presenting this to the press, that people understand what muscular dystrophy is about, and just trying to put a face on the illness like many others. I'm sure there are many other words and causes. This is the one that we've chosen.